myself, Dr. M. Kunshwathun Reddy, Associate Professor and Head of the Department of CSC. Today, I am going to discuss about divide and conquer. Uh, divide and conquer algorithm with the time complexity. Binary search algorithm uh, with the time complexity. And the, how to solve the problem on binary search method. We will discuss that things. Now here, we see that first, what is meant by divide and conquer. Here, the problem of size n, it is divided into two subproblems of size n by 2. So, subproblem of 1 of size n by 2, subproblem of 2 of size n by 2. Yes, so here we find subproblem. Here we divide the subproblem n by 2 up to, uh, uh, so we divide this one into up to smaller problems. We find the solutions of these subproblems and recursively we add all these solutions. We get the solution of the original problem. We get the solution of the original problem. Once again, listen. Here, the problem of size n, it is divided into subproblems of size n by 2 and n by 2. And also, here we divide like this up to we get le less size of problems. Solution to uh, solution to all these problems we find. And recursively, we add all these solutions. We get the solution of the original problem. Next, divide and conquer method. So, what is meant by divide and conquer? Divide and conquer algorithm consists of following three steps. First, divide. Divide the original problem into a set of sub-problems. Next, next, conquer. Solve every sub-problem individually or recursively. Solve every problem, every, every sub-problem individually, recursively. Combine. Put together the solutions of the subproblem to get the solution to the whole problem. Put together all the solutions to get the solution of the whole problem. Next. So, what is the purpose of this divide and conquer? Divide and conquer can be can be used successfully in parallel computation. These also used to derive efficient parallel algorithms by using divide and conquer algorithm. Next. So here you see this is the algorithm for divide and conquer. Here, here in this divide and conquer of P, P means problem. This problem divided into sub problem up to if small p. So in first here we check the problem is small p or not. Small problem means directly written the solution of the problem. S R P means solution of the problem. Otherwise, else means otherwise. Divide this problem P into Smaller problems p1, p2, and so on, pk, k greater than equal to 1. Apply divide and, divide and conquer to each of these sub problems and return combine. If that means apply these sub problems to find the solution. After fi finding the solution, combine the solutions of all these problems. Divide and conquer by using a conquer strategy. We calculate the solution. After that one, using the combine function. We combine all these all these solutions, we get the solution of the original problem. So in this way, we're using this divide and conquer algorithm. Next here. So what is the time complexity of divide and conquer algorithm? Now, divide and conquer algorithm or uh, that, that, that the time complexity represented by T of n equal to G of n if n is small. G is a constant value. There's T of n1 plus T of n2 plus and so on, T of nk plus F of n otherwise. This is the time complexity of each and every problem. The complexity of many divided algorithms is given by recurrence of the form T of n equal to T of 1 if n equal to 1 or alpha a into T of n by b plus f of n if n greater than 1. Next. So here we consider the uh, consider the case in which a equal to 2, b equal to 2, let t of 1 equal to 2, let f of n equal to n, then this time of complexity of t of n get converted as 2 into t of n by 2 plus n. Now here we observe that this t of n by 2 again is the form of t of n. So in place of uh, that formula will substitute 2 into 
So T of n by 2 by 2, n by 2 by 2 value is n by 4 plus n, n means here n by 2 plus n. 2 into 2, 4 T of n by 4 plus 2 to get cancelled, 2 into n, 2 n, here 2 n plus here, uh, here uh, 2 to get cancelled, n, n plus n, 2 n. So again this T of n by 4, it is in the form of T of n. So, already will take this 4 uh, separately. So, the, the formula is T of n formula is 2 into T of n by 2. 2 into T of n by 4 by 2, n by 8, plus n value is n by 4, plus 2 n. 4 into 2 is 8. 8 into T of n by 8, plus 3 n, and so on. In general, we see that, we are repeating this one i times, we get, 2 power i here, 8 can be written as 2 cube t of n by 2 cube plus 3n. In place of here 3 times repeats, we get 2 cube. Suppose we are repeating 5 times, we get 2 power i t of n by 2 power i plus i n. Here, i equal to, uh, n equal to 2 power i. So, what is the value of i? So, i equal to log n base 2, substitute that value, 2 power log n base 2 plus, plus t, t of, into t of n by n equal to 2 power i n plus i into n, i into i value is n into i value is n uh, log n base 2. Now, 2 power n log n base 2, that value is here, here this value is 1 into t of 1 plus n log n base 2. Now, t of 1, t of 1 value is 2, 2 plus n log n base 2, this is the value of this one, this is the value of this algorithm. So, 2 plus log n base 2 is the value of this uh, time complexity of this algorithm. So, that means this one represent in terms of big O as n log n base 2, n log n base 2, this is the time complexity of this algorithm. So, time complexity of this algorithm. So, once again, listen. Here, in, here uh, 2 power log n base 2, this value is n, ma, not 1. n into 2n plus n log n base 2. This is the time complexity of this algorithm. We, we represent this one in terms of big O notation, sir. Big O of n log n base 2 is the time complexity of divide and conquer algorithm. Next, binary search tree. So, first, what is mean by binary search tree? Now, here you see, binary such a tree is a binary tree satisfying the condition. That condition is each, each text contains an item is called a key which belongs to a total ordering set and two links to its left child and right child respectively. In each node, its key is larger than keys of all vertices in its left subtree and smaller than the keys of all the vertices in its right subtree. So now here you see that this 15, 15 is greater than left sub left, left, left subtree value, it is a, a lesser than right subtree value. Similarly, 6 is a, it's, it's a you know, key value, it is lesser, it is more than left value 3, it is lesser than right value. Similarly, 18 is lesser than, uh, more, uh, more than left value, lesser than right value. So, like this, see here we observe this, all these values. So, this type of tree is called as binary search tree. Operates the binary search trees support search, insert, delete element with a given key. Next, binary search algorithm. So, binary search. 
బైండీస్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ బైండీ సచ్ రికర్సివ్ అలగనిత సో అలగనిత బైండీ సచ్ ఆఫ్ ఏ కామా ఐ కామా ఎల్ కామా ఎక్స్ ఏ ఏ ఈస్ ఎన్ అరే ఆఫ్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ ఇట్ కన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐ ఎలిమెంట్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ఎల్ ఎక్స్ ఈస్ ద ఫైండింగ్ ఎలిమెంట్ ఇయర్ ఏ ఏ ఈస్ ఎన్ అరే దట్ ఎలిమెంట్స్ లైస్ బిట్వీన్ ఐ టు ఎల్ అండ్ ఎక్స్ ఈస్ ద ఫైండింగ్ ఎలిమెంట్ సో ఈఫ్ ఎల్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఐ that means last element equal to first element then if x equal to a of i that means it consists of that array consists of only single element that array consists of single element who check that element is the finding equal to finding element or not if that element is equal to finding element return that element i else return zero return zero means that element is not not found that means that that element is not searched in the given array else now suppose the size of that array is more than one element now mid equal to we calculate mid value mid equal to i first element plus last element position by 2 so we calculate mid position value now we uh, now compare this uh, searching element with mid element x equal to a of mid then return mid else so here suppose that x value finding value is equal to mid element value we return that mid value mid value is the uh, searching element else otherwise we check this mid value this uh, searching element value is less than a of mid value or not if the searching value less than a of mid value then again use this binary search algorithm for that elements uh, below this mid value so binary search of a comma i comma mid minus 1 comma x a is an array that consists of the elements from starting element to mid minus 1 elements and x is the searching element otherwise we return binary search for the next sub array so right sub array that is uh, a, a, that array a, 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 a is an array that consists of the elements from mid plus 1 to last element l and searching element is x next here this is binary search or uh, iterative algorithm so here bind such iterative algorithm here we see that a is an array consists of n elements n is a number of elements x is a searching element so initially we will take low position value is 1 high position value is n so last element is the high position value now first here we will check while low low value is less than equal to high or not if low value is less than equal to high first we find mid value by using the formula low plus high by 2 and also first we check the searching element value is less than a of mid or not it is less than a of mid value then high value equal to mid minus 1 else if x value is greater than a of mid value then low value equal to mid plus 1 that means depending on uh, this condition so divide that uh, uh, two sub arrays we choose uh, left sub array whenever x value is less than a of mid um, left sub array for the mid if x value is greater than a of mid then we choose right sub array referring this low equal to mid plus 1 else return mid value that means that searching value is equal to mid value otherwise return zero return zero means that element is not searched in the given list <laughs> next here next here we we'll see the tying complexity the tying complexity of binary search is t of n equal to 0 if n equal to 1 t of n equal to t of n by 2 plus 1 otherwise so t of n equal to t of n by 2 plus 1 so here again t of n by 2 is in the form of t of n so again use the same formula so t of n by 2 by 2 n by 4 plus 1 plus 1 so again t of n by 4 is in the form of so this is okay right this one written as t of n 2 square n by 2 square plus 2 so again this t of n by 4 is the form of t of n so again we apply the same formula t of n by 4 by 2 n by 8 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so that means t of n by 2 cube plus 3 suppose you're repeating this one some i times we write this one as t of n by 2 power i 
plus i. So here n equal to 2 power i. So i equal to log n. From this equation you get i value as log n. Which equal to t by L, t, t of n by 2 power i value is n. Plus i value is log n. Log n. This value is t of 1 plus log n. t of 1 value is 0. 0 plus log n. So that means t of n value is log n. Now the sign of h t of this binary such algorithm is big O of log n. Big O of log n. So in this way, we find the time complexity of binary such algorithm. Next, the problem on binary such algorithm. Now here you see that. Now here this is the given uh, given uh, elements. In these elements, we find the element that value is uh, 151. x equal to 151. Now here you see that here this is a uh, this is first uh, low value is one, so a of one, a of two, a of three, a of four, a of five, a of six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen elements is there. So all these elements stored between a of one to a of fourteen. Low value is 1, high value is 14, position value, low position value is 1, high position value is 14. So mid value, mid equal formula is low plus high by 2, low plus high by 2. Low value is 1, high value is uh, 14, 1 plus 14 by 2, that value is 7 point something means 7. Now we check, here uh, what is that value, mid value, 151. So this 151 equal to mid value a of 7, a of 7 value is 54, 54 equal to 151, no. Next to check. So this 151 value is more than that value or lesser than that value. So this 151 is more than 54. That means we'll take right subtree, right, uh, uh, right subarray. Right subarray is that starts from mid plus 1 to last element, high value. Mid plus 1 means mid value is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8. 8 to high value 14. So mid value 8 plus 14 by 2. 8 plus 14 by 2. 22 by, uh, by 2 means 11. So now mid value is 11. So now check. This x value is equal to a of mid value. x value is 151. Is equal to a of mid value. a of mid value is now 11. 11th position is 125. 125 equal to 121? No. Now one, one, 151 is greater than 125. That means uh, we take the right subarray of this mid value. Right subarray it starts from mid plus 1. So 11 plus 1 is 12. 12 to high value is 14. 12 plus 14 value is 26. 26 by 2 means 13. Mid value is 13. So now, now compare this 151 with uh, 13th position value that is 142. This 151 value is more than the 142. So again we take subarray. Subarray is that starts from mid plus 1, mid value is 13, 13 plus 1, 14, 2 high value is 14. Now mid value is 14 plus 14 by 2 is 14. Now 151 is equal to 151? Yes. Now I found at 14th position this value. This value is found at a 14th position, that what 151 value. Suppose we will take x value is minus 14. Now here uh, low value will take 1, high value is 14, 1 plus 14 by 2 value is 7 point something means 7. So, so mid, in 7th position we have how much value? 54. Minus 15 is equal to minus 14 equal to 54? No. So minus 14 is less than the 54 value. That means we will take the left subarray. The left subarray uh, starts from low value to mid minus 1. Low value is 1. 7 is mid value. 7 minus 1 is 6. 7 minus 1 is 6. 1 plus 6 by 2. That is 7 by 2 means 3 point something means 3. A of 3. A of 3 value is. Here A of 3 value is 0. Minus 14 is equal to 0. No. Minus 14 is less than 0. Again we will take left to subarray. So left to subarray means that starts from low to mid minus 1. 
So low value is 1. Width minus 3 minus 1 is 2. A of, A of 2. 1 plus 2 by 2. That value is 1. A of 1. A of 1 value is minus 15. So minus 14 equal to minus 15? No. No means here we'll take a, a low 2. Uh, here minus 14 is greater than minus 50. That means we'll take uh, mid plus 1 to high. Mid plus 1 means here 1 plus 1 is 2. High value is also 2. 2 to 2. 2 plus 2 by 2. That value is 2. A of 2. A of 2 value is how much here? Minus 6. So minus here minus 14 equal to minus 6? No. Minus 6 uh, minus 14 is greater than minus 6. So minus 14 is greater than minus 6. That means here low to high. High value is uh, high means mid minus 1. 2 minus 1, one is 1. 2 to 1 is uh, there is no possibility to find to arrange these elements. So that means the element is not found in this uh, in that array. Next, suppose we will take x equal to 9. So first here low value is first position value, high value is last position value is 14. 1 plus 14 by 2, that value is 7. So next here. Here, here we see that we compare this uh, searching element 9 with a of, a of 7 value. A of 7 value is 54. 9 equal to 54? No. 9 less than 54. That means we will take left to sub, sub array of this one. That's from, that starts from low to mid minus 1. Mid minus 1 means 7 minus 1 is 6. 1 to 6. 1 plus 6 by 2. 3 point something means 3. 3 is the mid value. Now 9 compare with uh, a of 3 value. A of 3 value is 0. So 9 equal to 0? No. So 9 is greater than 0. That means we will take right sub array. So mid plus that, that starts from mid plus 1 to high. Mid plus 1 means here 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 to high value is previously how much? 6. 4 plus 6 by 2. 10 by 2 means 5th position mid value. Now 9 compare with the 5th position value. 5th position value is 9. So 9 is equal to 9. So the element is found at a 5th position. So in this way, we find the element in the given array by using this binary search. So whenever we apply the binary search to any any given problem, compulsory the elements in that array compulsory they are in sorting order, they are in uh, ascending order, they are in ascending order. Otherwise, it is not possible to search the element in that array. So for example, here we will take some x equal to 101. First, here low value, high and mid. So, initially low value is first position. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Totally fourteen positions is there. A of one means minus fifteen. So, low value is one, fourteen, one plus fourteen by two, fifteen by two means seven point something means seven. Now compare this 101 with 7th position value. 7th position value is 54. 101 equal to 54? No. 101 is greater than 54. That means we'll take right sub array. Right sub array starts from mid plus 1. Mid plus 1 means 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. High value is same 14. So it starts from 8th position to here. 8 plus 14, 22 by 2, 11. So here 11th position value is 125. 101 is equal to 125? No. So 121 less than 125 means it lies left to sub array. Left to sub array starts from low to high. Low low to mid minus 1. Low value is 8. Mid value is 11 minus 1 is 10. So 8 plus 10 by 2. 9, 18 by 2. 18 by 2 value is 9. So 9 values, a of 9 values, 101. x equal to a of 9? Yes, found at this point. Found at this point. So in this way, we search the element in the given array by using this binary search algorithm. So you see, here we we'll see one more, uh, uh, one more example. For example, we will take x equal to some 143. So low value. High and mid. Low value is first position. High value is 14th position. 1 plus 14 by 2 value is mid value is 7. 143 compared with 7th position value. 143 is not equal to 54. 153 is greater than 54 means it lies right sub array. 
So right answer starts from mid plus 1 to high. Mid 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 to 14. 8 plus 14 by 2. That value is mid value is 11. 11. So, a of 11 value is 125. 143 equal to 125? No. Now, it is not equal to that one means 143 is greater than 125. So, it lies right subarray. So, right subarray starts from mid plus 1 to high. So, 11 plus 1 is 12. 12 to 14. 12 plus 14, 26 by 2 means 13. So, a of 13 value is 142. 143 is equal to 142? No. So, 143 is greater than 142. So, it lies right subarray. So, right subarray starts from mid plus 1. 13 plus 1 is 14. 14. High value is also 14. So, uh, average is 14. Yeah, 14 value is 151. So, 143 equal to 151? No. Now, uh, here it lies left subarray. Left subarray starts from uh, mid minus 1 to high. 13 to 14. 13 to 14. So, mid value is 13. 13 is 143. So, already you search that one. So, that means the element is not found in this subarray. So, the element is not found in the given array. So, in this way, you search the element in the given array by using this binary search algorithm under this divide and conquer strategy. So, thanks to everyone. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.